Yo, what is up, guys? Ethan here, back with another video, and we are back with the Cleveland Cobras. And I simulated a couple games, and we won versus the Stars, blew out in a high-scoring game versus the Oilers. Um, we shot out the Panthers as they only won one game out of the whole entire season, but we did lose to the Ducks, six to two. We lost two to zero versus the Minnesota Wild. We lost a shootout game versus the Blackhawks. And we're on a losing streak, but we did beat the Nashville Predators three to two. So now our record is nine three and one. So in today's episode, we will be taking on the New York Rangers, San Jose Sharks, and the St. Louis Blues. Um, first game, as you can tell, is home versus the New York Rangers, and they're one of the worst teams this year as well. I was thinking about on the alternates, but I decided to just go with the classic home and aways. And, um, bam. Here we get ready. And here we are. Here at Rocket Mortgage um, Fieldhouse here in Cleveland. And, um, I'm not sure if I did it in the first epi second episode, but Floyd Carr is our starting center now. Or I put him in the lines to set up his B. So Larson goes around the net, and ooh, Carr almost got a goal right there. Um, and the Rangers just flick it up to the other side, and that is icing. So um, since the defense didn't get their first bam, so our first goal of the day is by Demers or Demars. I don't know how to say it. I'm gonna say Demers. So Jason Demers gets his second goal of the season, and now we are up 1-0 at home versus the Rangers. And also, um, this is our first um, comp division game of the season. Our second goal, ooh, it was deflected off, but wide open right there is number 21. I forget who that is. Um, so now we're up 2-0 versus the Rangers, and their goalie is getting pretty mad right now. And the goal is by Pitlick. But the Rangers come back on the other land, um, juke out a few defenders and a slap shot goal as now we are only up by one. And the Rangers look like they're coming out strong, getting ready to take us down. But Demers, ooh, almost got the puck stolen away, but he assisted it right there, the Gord. And now we are up 3-1 and the smoke is going off. Our teammates in the crowd are going crazy. So now we're up 3-1. Um, I extended this a little too long. Um, my bad. So now Jenner is going out. A defenseman passes it right there to number 17. And it's a goal right there. And now we're up 4-1 as the Rangers thought they had a chance. And now they really don't. And, um, I think that was Hugh Bakker who did it. Um, that dude looks like Garrett from Dude Perfect, but okay. But the Rangers come back on the other end with another slap shot goal, and now they're only down by two. But we come back on the other end, and ooh, it was meant to be a pass, but Beagle goes around the other slide side, finds number 37, and he hits a goal right there, and now we're up 5-2. I'm telling you, this is like the Vegas last year, like we got the wins, and as an expansion team and right there almost a goal I, w I was not sure who made the goal because Carr hit it and then I think Pitlick tapped it in and I think that's gonna be an assist on Carr's end but I'm not 100% sure the Rangers come out and um, this is the most embarrassing thing I ever did in the game Subakta I don't know how to pronounce his name I'm sorry I'm not good with names he literally they miss a shot, and he puts it right into their goal with his um, skate. Very bad, but um, that is the game. As we, they're trying to get another goal, but we're our defense is too good, and we're going to win this game six to three at home. So we had a little bit of losing streak, but now we're getting back onto our winning streak. The Rangers are mad, and um, crowd's getting hyped, and it wasn't a really good performance. Now we are at the SAP or the SAP Center here in San Jose as we are getting ready to take on the San Jose Sharks on the road. Um, the Sharks are 7-4-3, um, but in real life, they went to the, um, the Western Conference Finals. So they are a good team in real life, but let's see how good they are in the game. And Card loses the drop puck or drop out, 
A slap shot early for the Sharks was no good, and Demers is going out. Carr could have had another goal right there. Tries to pass it to Carr, ain't was unsuccessful. Simmons tries to shoot it, but the goalie says says no. So now we have to wait another eight minutes until um San Jose is actually the first one on the board, and that is a goal by number fifty-two right there. And that was the first time in one of the episodes. We are actually down. So, um, right there is number 25 of the goal. So, we tie up the game right there with, um, two minutes off the clock. So, the crowd's going crazy. Our team's going crazy. And you can just tell that this is going to be a good game. Right behind the back, bam, finds number 83, which I'm pretty sure is Beagle. And now we have a 2-1 lead. Two unanswered goals for us right now. And they need, they're going to need some help. And, ooh, that was actually a nice move by the Sharks right there. And now they tie up the game to a piece. The crowd's going crazy. The team's going crazy. This is going to be a really good game. And, bam, we find Simmons. And now we are up 3-2 in this game. And this is a very high-scoring game in the first intermission. But in the second intermission, no thing happens. And now we're almost at the end, and goal Carr gets a goal right there. And now we're up 4-2. And we, no scoring happened in the second. And most but most of the third had no scoring. And San Jose has an empty net right now. Um, I'm surprised he missed that. But um, Justin Braun hits the goal right there. And that's the dagger as we are going to get this win. The mascot's like, oh, this is rigged. You should have kept your goalie. But, um, Justin Braun as his fourth goal of this season. And that's going to be the final, um, final score as we would win 5-2 on the road. So, um, our record is still getting being alive right now. So, um, yeah. San Jose is really mad because they, it was a, it was an all defense game until that last minute part. So I decided to simulate up to the um St. Louis game, and we get into this trade for Justin Braun, D. Lesser, or whatever. And it, I didn't think it was a good trade. Um, I don't care about these stupid meetings. And we're gonna be playing the Blues as they're one of the top team, actually the top. We did beat the Maple Leafs three to two, and um the Blues are the best in the West, and we are either the best or one of the best in the East. And this game, we will be debuting our um, alternate jerseys. And right now, I'm just trying to figure out which jerseys I should do for the Blues home or away. But I eventually decide to do the away jerseys. And they're a really stacked team. Um, I just realized all of our games are on NBC, not NBCSN. Um, as you saw, the Blues only lost one game this season. And for some reason, Carr did not was not the starting center in this game. I have no clue why, but he will be playing later in this episode or in this game. Um, we did not start out good, and the um Blues hurry up. I tried to get the poke check, but it didn't end up working. Slap shot, but Jake Allen is right there to save the goal. But right there is just a sweet flick shot by Demers, and that is his second goal of today's episode. Charles pumping up the crowd, wearing his green jersey, and it looks really weird. Um, um, I, I, I just lost my thought. I tried to do a slap shot, but, um, it ended up not working, but, um, um, Bonino was right behind us, so now we have a 2-0 lead. I have a question for you guys. If you would change one thing about the alternate jerseys, what would it be? Um, I would probably say, um, make the helmet navy or something. I don't know. Um, the Blues tried a slap shot goal, but it was unsuccessful. But the Blues turn right back around and get the goal anyway. So, kind of looking like the Rangers game, as we are only up by one right now. And St. Louis is hype right now. Um, now, another slap shot goal, and then it's another reflection, and O'Reilly gets the goal right there. And now it's a tie game, and we can't underestimate the Blues. Um, they're also in the Stanley Cup Finals in real life, but I'm rooting for the Bruins. I don't care. And right there is Braun as he gets his second goal of today's episode. 
And we have broken the tie, and now we are up in early part of the third intermission. Um, I don't know why, but there's not been a lot of scoring in the second intermission in today's episode, besides um, the Rangers game. Um, right there, we find Gord. But Simmons is right there to tap in the goal, and now we have a two-goal lead, and the Blues, this is not looking good for them. This is a battle between the top teams in each conference and it's looking like we're the better team now we start a face off and Carl wins it uh, we lost the puck Simmons goes around the net finds Carr and gets in Carr has his second goal of today's episode so a brawn Demers and Carr all have two goals in today's episode and that was the dagger even though there's plenty of time left with um with barely any time left, the Blues get a goal, but that's not going to do anything. And there's only 10.5 seconds remaining. I don't know why they're hyped up. And they pulled away their goalie. And I actually tried to do this because I wanted another goal to just shove it down their throat. But it did not work. And now we win 5-3. So another episode, we win all three games. Um, The sliders are all the way up, by the way. Not all the way, but really high. So um, I did this trade. And as we need a fourth center, I think I gave a little too much up, but he is a good center. Um, I tried to get a pick out of it, but it didn't work. Um, so, um, oops, I accidentally, if I exited out, that wouldn't have been, been good. Um, next game is versus Winnipeg, which I do simulate. And let's go, as next episode, we will be playing at the Flyers. And, um, I'll tell you why next episode. And we do lose to the one. So, um, next episode we will be playing the second highest team in the Metro Division, the Philadelphia Flyers. Um, they're 12-3-3. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Like, share, subscribe, and like always, have a good day. Peace out.